Some might think of collaging as a craft that people do in their spare time. But for this week's In Focus, Jamil Donath shows us an artist in Grand Rapids whose art is much more than pasting pieces of paper together. You've probably done it for a school project, or for some it's a pastime. But for Ashley Kolka, collaging is much more than a craft, it's yeah. an art. The idea of piecing different things together to create a whole is something I'm interested in. The art history major began collaging back in high school, and what initially started out as creative expression eventually took on a very different shape. The technique I'm currently using is one um, that I sort of have come to in the past couple of years. It might just look like gluing together random pieces of paper. But a collage is like a painting, except for the paint is tiny pieces of paper. I'm creating these sort of large puzzles. So for Kolka, paper is her paint. And much like a painter, she has her own color palette, where she'll cut out separate colors from the magazine and place them into different buckets. I cut up the magazines um, by color and organize it by color and then use that paper to create sort of patchwork designs. This collage is currently on display at the McRossi Gallery in Grand Rapids, and it's Kolka's first piece to be selected for a juried art show. I was sort of dumbfounded and pleasantly surprised to have been selected. It was a real honor. Kolka's collages have a very interesting texture, which she achieves by coating her art in black shoe polish. It looks a little more painterly than um, a harsh sort of cut out paper would normally look. Because her techniques mask the paper's appearance, Kolka says many people are surprised to find out that her pieces are made out of magazines. I thought it was painted blocks of wood. I thought it was a painting. Um, I thought it was fabric, all sorts of different responses I've gotten. It's been interesting. And Kolka's paper preference, art magazines. Art magazines are filled with really vibrant colors and they just sort of beg to be used and repurposed rather than sort of collecting in a stack in my apartment. From the choice of color, paper, and pattern, Kolka puts a lot of thought and time into each of her pieces. I think it goes to show that you can create something of a very high quality that creates a large impact from any number of materials. And it's always a pleasant surprise to sort of learn what those materials are. Call it crafty, call it conceptual, but Kolka's collages are not your average art project. For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donath, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.